George Char, and this is Comedy Sex Show. I am Lola Bastinato. And I'm Tim Ma. Back to Meet Me in St. Louis. Um, the <laughs> father comes home, and they wanted to have dinner an hour early, uh-huh. you know, and he's like, no, what I say goes. Everything I say goes. And blah, blah, blah. Yeah, it's yeah. going to be on time, on time, blah, blah, blah. And they had dinner on time. You know, like, yeah. that's the way the men, the men around the house, right. and I make all yeah. the decisions, blah, blah, blah. You just have babies and take care of the kids. And yeah. Yeah. Do that easy stuff. Yeah. You know? Yeah, easy stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Let me completely raise the child. Make I'm sure at work all day. Everything is clean. All the laundry is clean. Yeah. All the food is clean. Well, you go all fuck the off at an office. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> You're going to go to the office and, you know, stress out with the boss. But I've got yeah. all the fucking no 12 thing. kids. Mm-hmm. I got the food that I have to figure out. I got the house. I got, I got, in fact, a lot them. of them are actually still doing the farming, too. Mm hmm. You know, the guys might have gone out the business, but the women were still so in the garden for that time. doing the tomatoes and the green beans and all that shit, yeah. too. Yeah. yeah. We started a yeah. revolution. Yeah. Well, that's why the revolution happened, because women yeah. are like, OK, we're just sick of this shit. But yeah, that's just a lot. You know, like... I'm all for equality, but there are certain roles that a lot of women are better for than right. men are better for and vice versa. I mean, listen, go ahead and go hunting if you want to. I don't care. Like... <laughs> just <laughs> eat the whole meat. And don't ambush the ambush it. If you're gonna go fucking Make hunting, then actually hunt. Fair. Yeah, <laughs> don't sit in the tree and just shoot the fucker. Unless you're starving to death and you need to eat. Right. Mm-hmm. But if you're not starving to death, then you need to like really go one on one with that animal. Or why right, are with you that knife? Maybe right. that's the new diet right. I need to yeah. do, like a frontier diet. Right. <laughs> like actually, do you know what frontier. I mean? Because all this other shit is not sticking. I need yeah. to stick with it. But I don't pick my own fucking berries and shit. Right. Yes. Right. Because you burn eat, calories. Only you burn eat. Calories. Only eat like. Yeah. Bunny or rabbit with mm-hmm. like shells in it, like oh, bullet no. shells in oh, it. I can't even do that. <laughs> yeah, like you should only See, eat, only so eat so what you can like grow yourself or shoot yourself, right? But I'm thinking. Oh my God. But if you're I not starving to death, diet. then you need to go one on one with that deer with a knife or something like yep, that. Yeah, exactly. Burn the calories. You're like, and then really brag. Okay, I had this like 13 point buck, and I really wrestled him to the ground yeah. and stabbed oh, right. him. Okay, now I'm gonna be impressed. You took on like a 250 right. pound buck. I agree. Right. But if you're just sitting in a tree and the buck comes from like 50 yards away and you're like, and the buck didn't even know yeah, you were there. Right, and, you're exactly. just, and then why are you bragging that you got it? Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah. you have a good shot. Okay, go well, you could do that with a target. And I could be just as impressed. Oh, wow, you shot that target bullseye. Good for you. I mean, bring me the berries. Yeah. <laughs> but, the, you know, that's the thing with me and hunting. If you're going to hunt, then you fucking eat the whole I fucking animal. I would be a terrible frontier woman. And you should ambush it. I would be terrible. I'd I would be thin be as fuck. I would, my stomach would be flat, but I would be a horrible frontier. No, woman. I'd be pretty good. I'd be able to like try to set. Oh, those I couldn't traps. handle all the work. Oh, no, no, it's no. just way too much work for me. Yeah. Yeah, we're... but there's nothing else you're doing as well. You're just trying to survive. You're just mm-hmm. trying to point, grow to something and kill something. Man. And... Yeah. <laughs> like you know. Or I would have a frontier. Friend, yes. <laughs> would be our, my frontier husband. <laughs> right. yeah. yeah. Oh gosh. Like, yeah, just some 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 lifestyles are just way too complicated for me. Like, yeah. Well, it's just it's interesting how it went from, again, like home home on the range, where again you for survival it. Mm-hmm. Took right. so much so work much. daily, every day, yeah. I just to make it to the next farm. day. Yeah. There'd be no butter. I'm not turning freaking yeah. butter. <laughs> oh my god, that takes forever. I, I know, know it's right? this business all like, fucking oh, day. I don't but know, it's where it day. went from that to where now we just what? Well, like I've got mm-hmm. to stop by the supermarket on the way home to buy this and to buy that yeah. that is available, nice readily easy. available to me. Yeah. I didn't have to stalk it or hunt mm-hmm. it or trap it See, or 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 churn it or exactly. You, to hunt for your you would appreciate the so food different. a lot more. Yeah, yeah, you'd appreciate, and then you'd use every part of it. I you'd would totally fur, not eat cheese because it takes I'm too not sure long about of a ice. commitment to make the fucking cheese. I'd just be like, Fuck yeah, it. yeah. I don't God, want it. Do you think yeah. butter's yeah. worse? It's butter's disgusting. bad. Yeah. Like, I would totally give up dairy if I was a frontier woman. Well, and saw where it comes from, and have to go and squeeze the nipple every day. I would probably be the bitch that sells salt. <laughs> yeah. That that would be a great trade. You know what I mean? Like, I'll go pick salt. flowers and sell flowers. <laughs> yeah, but like, all, oh my gosh, no. I mean, I think if I was a frontier woman, I would be very taut and very skinny. <laughs> Lola, well, the frontier was. woman. Yeah, most people start, you know, most yeah. people like experience starvation on a regular basis. Yeah, mm-hmm. I wouldn't even yeah, want right. to, like, listen, as yeah. much as I love potatoes, I wouldn't want to dick for those fuckers. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
I'm not. I think I would still dig up a potato. I like a potato. (laughs) (laughs) I like potatoes. But you know, I'm a vegan, but I'll shoot an animal if I'm hungry. Mm -hmm. (laughs) If I'm out in the middle of nowhere and mm -hmm. I've got no other choice, I'm going fishing. It's like look at that deer walking over there. And if I'm Look, super why hungry, why do I get hungry looking at that yeah, deer over yeah. there? And if I'm there. super hungry, I'll probably eat a worm. Because mm-hmm. you know, when you're super hungry, you'll fucking eat anything. You know, maybe just <laughs> if I cook, if I cook the worm a little bit, maybe put some rosemary in there. You know, I'll Not probably like fucking eat that worm. Do you see, like when they're like they cockroaches, sell, uh-huh. maybe not, but <laughs> they sell like scorpions on sticks and stuff. Yes, and they eat them yes. like potato chips. Yeah, uh, yeah, what the it's fuck. Just, you know, it's like shrimp on a stick. How did oh, they get I, I to that point? Shrimp. Yeah, shrimp is disgusting to me. You know what? When you're hungry, oh, enough, like you shrimp. eat every yeah. bug, you, uh, b- bug you can find. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. No, I have no problems. You know, if I was you know, starving to death, I'll eat whatever. But they tried to serve me crickets in Whole Foods last time I was there. Oh. Really? They were like, Chocolate yeah, cr- no, it was just a, a it was like an energy bar. They're like, it's a pure organic <laughs> energy bar. I'm like, all right, you love yeah. it organic. It's a cricket? Yeah. Yeah. They're made I'm, out of cricket. Yeah, and they're high protein. They're high. Mm-hmm. The thing is, I'm not hungry that enough. I'm not hungry enough. If I'm hungry yeah. enough and I'm in the middle of the Amazon, okay, feed yeah. me a bug. Yeah. You know, I've been really rationalizing lately. Like, come on, Lo, are you really that hungry? You got enough fat to last a winter. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> come on, bitch. Do you really want to spend $15 on that? I don't think so. You can tough it out. You're a New Yorker. You're from Brooklyn. You'll be fine. Yep, I sure do. Yep. Yep. I, sure I do. love my food. I do love food too. I love food. I love food. And food to me is a great expression of love. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I loved all the cookies that I just ate of yours. Yes. Oh. And the fudge. Like if somebody uh-huh. takes time to make food, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's love. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's hell love. But then you got to think about their kitchens. Mm-hmm. Right. You never know <laughs> what the kitchens look like. My neighbor's kitchen is fucking disgusting. Mm-hmm. I've been in there before. My husband was like, don't ever accept anything from next door. Every summer, he's like, oh, she makes the best fish cakes. And he's like, don't ever, ever accept her fucking food. I was like, boy, he was like, there's Mickey Mouse in there. There was roaches jumping oh around. Oh, my God. He was like, I walked into her mm-hmm. kitchen. All the roaches stopped and looked at me and was like, hey, what's up? <laughs> And I was like, and all this time I thought she was using panko breadcrumbs. (laughs) (laughs) No, just that little extra spice in there. Just a little extra protein never hurts. Extra protein could have been fucking crickets. You never know. I don't know. You know, because I was raised Catholic, we used to go to all those uh, Catholic potlucks, you know, on the Sundays, Mm -hmm. and everybody would bring food. Oh, my God. Church lady food. Love it. I never got sick from any of that food. I love uh-huh. church lady. I, love I church do lady too. Food. I do too. I don't too. know what their kitchens look like. Hey, I don't know what they put in there. We should go to a church potluck. Oh my god! Yeah, church we should crash one. We should cra- will we like can spontaneously combust? <laughs> <laughs> I like, probably could eat most of it because it's, you know it's all protein and yeah, well, dairy. You're know, gonna have to like pretend you're not vegan. For yeah. <laughs> yeah. God, I love those potlucks. I do too. Yeah. Everybody would have something completely different. You yeah. Know, so, I've never seen, what the hell is this dish? You know? And there was always yeah. like one or two that were like really good cooks yeah. Yeah. that you knew whatever yeah. they brought yeah. was going like to be the good. the dessert tray, yes. the dessert table, and everybody would yeah. bring all the different cakes and yes. brownies. And- That's <gasps> it, then we need to bring back oh, the potluck. God, I, I agree. Potluck. I, I like a good potluck. A good potluck. Like you should have a Christmas party and everybody should have a potluck. Everybody should bring something yeah. to the Christmas party. Yeah, and you can be like, okay, I need three desserts. I need four this, you know, four vegetables. Right, you make it an event. You sign you up choose, for what you, you want. You can say, okay, I want to bring the 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 dessert or something, and then you can bring. Whatever well, that's dessert. what I yeah, that's what I um did last Saturday actually for a holiday party. Thanks for the invite. I, know. I brought. So, <laughs> I <was about> to <laughs> that. I no, I made I made that, some of my mac and cheese from scratch and Yum. took that. Yeah, mm-hmm. and yeah. then somebody else. Brought some paneel and somebody yeah. brought rice and somebody brought yeah. Oh, that's and then amazing. if you have a, a group of friends that. that are all different ethnicities, ethnicities, mm-hmm. then you have all that different ethnic food, which is yeah. fabulous. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know, because you really normally cannot go wrong because every yeah. ethnicity has something fabulous <laughs> that yep. they're gonna bring. Oh, yeah, that's yeah, what we should do. Potluck. Yeah. Yeah. Oh man, that's <laughs> vegan. Potluck. What about a smoker's potluck? Everybody brings a different strain of. Marijuana. <laughs> it's a potluck. <laughs> I mean, we want to eat. <laughs> you can only smoke. Yeah, and so then much. you're going to get hungry. Uh, yeah. yeah, so then we need the bring, real potluck. Bring right. pot and a dish. Good yeah. luck. Yeah. 
And we'll call it pot good luck. <laughs> yeah. yeah, good luck. You see what a bunch of stoners show up with ice and chips. <laughs> <laughs> Doritos and a but, big bag of pot. Yeah. I know, right? But we should, we'll should. say you have to make it your own. You can't like bring something that's already right. prepared. Right. Because then that eliminates all those prepaid donuts and chips and shit okay. like that. So, so you have what? to make your own spaghetti, not spaghetti. Deviled eggs. eggs. Here's, Double eggs. here's a Double question eggs. because it's the holiday season. Everybody's going to holiday stuff. Mm-hmm. What should you not bring to a party or an event? If you're supposed to bring something, what do you not bring? I guess something like really stinky. What's one of those stinky foods? A cheese, like a stinky cheese or something. Yeah, that just stinks up the whole place, maybe. Okay. Yeah, that would make sense. Or Um, I don't think anybody in America, as far as I know, would want you to come in with a big giant pig's head with an apple on his mouth uh, and stick nope. it down on the table. Yeah, definitely not. Nope. I'm thinking most people would be like, yeah, we're That's not there so anymore. Gross. Yeah. I'm thinking I mean, maybe that. Just I would come with say... a pig head? Yeah, pig heads with the apple it used to be the actual um, um, decoration at a Christmas table. The really? pig head. I didn't know that. Well, because it used to be an actual boar where they usually actually right. had to go hunt it. Right. So you wanted to show off how and big of a boar. And then you'd eat the rest of the boar. Yeah. And, and, and you're like, yeah, you just have the head. apple in his mouth. Right. Well, That's you know what? Sadistic. I saw the show. Mm-hmm. They cut the bone, all the skull out. And so it's, uh, it's, the, it's just a shell. And then they oh. shove uh, pork meat and oh. herbs and stuff in there. And, and then you eat it. And shape it. Yeah. And they stick it on the table. And yeah. They eat it like that? Yeah. So it's it's more pork. It's It's stuffing. Ew. Stuffing, yeah, but it's the pork head. But you showed up pork, the pork head, boar's head, the boar's head, stuffing. yeah, because it used to be a real. You have to actually have to go out and hunt that fucker, and some people will get killed hunting that fucker mm-hmm. because boars fight back. I wonder if the boar wow. goes home and stuffs the human head yeah. still with an <laughs> yeah. apple and sticks yeah. it. Here, well, honey, wow. I'm home. Well, you know what? <laughs> boars and pigs will eat you. Right. So if you die in front of a pig, it will fucking eat you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <sighs> Did it Deadwood? That's how I found out about pigs eating you. Deadwood, that show Deadwood, there was a, a whenever he killed somebody, he used to go throw it in the Chinese um, guy's pig pig uh, stall. Uh, he'd pay the and they never pay the uh, guy, uh-huh. the Chinese guy, you know, to not pretend and that he's dumping a dead body. Yeah, no, I'm oh. just saying <laughs> because in Deadwood is you know okay. the old west. It was the name of the town, I think. Yeah, uh-huh. yeah, okay. it was the old west, and you okay. know the Chinese were separated from the others, so you could dump a dead body over in the Chinese place. And they're not going to call the law because usually the law would arrest them, you know. Mm-hmm. But you dump wow. a dead body in this pig farm, and the pigs would eat it all. It'll and eliminate so there all was, the evidence. Yeah, so there's no <laughs> evidence, and Holy so you can't prove moly. murder when there's except no body. three days later when the pig took a shit and the ring falls out. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Oh, it's a ring. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yeah. yeah, but pigs will eat you. I saw sh- actually Midsummer well, Murders, uh, a British show. A British detective show, somebody did that too. They threw the uh, dead body in the pig stall. <laughs> wow, so pigs really do eat everything. Yeah, they'll fucking eat everything. Yeah. They eat everything. They'll I didn't know eat that. you, bones, all. Well, I think if, wow. again, if they're hungry enough, mm-hmm. and because I've been around, I grew up around pigs and cows and all of that, and I never got eaten, you know, or yeah. even bit. But, right. um, um, but I think if they raise them to eat, Meat and flesh and all of that, and especially mm-hmm. raw. Then you can't, yeah, you can't go around them, yeah. Especially wild. I don't know. I, I don't didn't know. know that. I, I bet you, so if you went back well to your family pigs. pigs and you stuck a human leg in there, they'll fucking eat that human leg. Well, that wouldn't surprise me. Yeah. I'm just saying, they'll yeah. probably eat it. Yeah. They don't care. They don't care. Right. Supposedly goats eat everything too, but I haven't seen a show yeah. about goats eating everything. Like I only know yeah. that supposedly goats eat everything. Like you can feed them an aluminum can or something mm-hmm. like that. Goats just are like so much like dogs to me. Yeah, they seem a, very doggish. Yeah, they are. Yeah, yeah. They seem like, yeah. yeah. And those little ones with the little legs that do the bouncing. <laughs> no, they're so cute. <laughs> the only thing is, is they always got shit falling out their ass. Yeah, yeah. that's the thing. Like yeah. that. They're yoga, very dirty. Uh, um, yoga with goats. I'm like, no, goats are stinky. And I don't want yeah. them jumping on my back, and I don't want them pooping I don't want in my them face. Pissing on and... me, like, <laughs> yeah, I, yeah. I see. I'm like, yeah, no, that's yeah, not for me. Yeah, who comes up with some of this shit? Like the yeah. other day, I was like, I was walking. My daughter lives in Beacon, and there's like a a, a cat cafe. Oh yes. So I was like, it oh, like that sounds inside. like a cute idea. And mm-hmm. they open the door, <laughs> smells like, cat and food. I was like, what the fuck <laughs> was that? It was horrible. The smell yeah. was. horrible. Horrible, and people are like, "Oh, I like another." So I was like, "How can Ooh. you eat in these conditions?" Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I went to a cafe, cafe, 
Now, maybe yeah. they're different over in Japan and China because they look cleaner on the videos. Okay. Yeah. And it doesn't look like all the kittens are pooping everywhere. But when mm -hmm. you go to the, nasty, over in Brooklyn, yo. that cat cafe, the fucking kittens are pooping everywhere. Ew. And it stinks like kitten poop everywhere. You walk in and you're just This shit, the shit you shouldn't Ew. just be doing. And you want to sell me a coffee? Are you kidding me? <laughs> yeah, and then now you got goat hair all in my yeah. shop. <laughs> like, have a cat cafe, but make sure the cats have pooped before you put them in the cat cafe. Like, I want to play with. Or they should have a little animals. kitty room, like a kitty bathroom or cat bathroom or something. Well, yeah. you know, you have cats. Mm -hmm. You know, after you feed them, about 10 minutes after you feed them, they're going to poop. Mm -hmm. And then you let them in the room. Let them poop first and then put them or in have, the cafe. Or have like a litter room. Right. Sometimes they go in that and... still applies to adults too. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's like the worst feeling is like having to poop. Oh, <laughs> then there's no toilet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh. I'm telling you, being a vegan, I need to be close to the oh, toilet yes. almost all uh -huh. the time. Because the moment wow. you eat ten minutes later you gotta go. Uh -huh. <laughs> It's terrible. Yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. Terrible. Either that or I have irritable bowel dis syndrome. I don't know what. I would say the vegetables. The amount of fiber I eat, I am like. Yeah. Mm hmm. <laughs> go to the bathroom. <laughs> go to the bathroom. Go to the bathroom. <laughs> Terrible. But that's why her skin is so good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm constantly cleaning myself out. Everything's cleaned out constantly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. High fiber, man. Woo. Never have a poop problem ever again. Mm -hmm. And that's Good the thing, you. like most Americans don't actually eat fiber. Mm -hmm. You know, they they say, "Oh, I'm not I'm not going to do carbs because carbs are bad." Well, a lot of your carbs that you're eating don't actually have fiber in them anymore. Mm -hmm. Like if you ate carbs that actually had fiber in them, you'd be fine. But most right. of these carbs now don't have any fiber. Like a lot of your bread no longer has any fiber mm -hmm. in it if you buy the commercial bread. It's just right. starch, and yeah, again, just try to get yeah, you yeah. addicted yeah. to it and yeah, and keep there's you coming no fiber back for more. It, you mm -hmm. know, and most and if you look at somebody's plate. If you go to a restaurant, you go anywhere. Most of it is no fiber. They they either cook it to the point to where there's you know nothing left in it, no nutrients, no nutrients, whatever, yeah. mm -hmm. or there's just no. It's all you know. It's a piece of meat with gravy. Have with... you ever went to like a diner, like, and they'll have like a vegetable soup, and it just tastes like water? Like yeah. even yes. the carrots have no flavor. Yeah, yeah, and so how the yeah, hell can you fuck up a carrot? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. The food is almost flavorless. It doesn't have any fiber yeah. left in it. They boil the shit out of it to where there's no nutrients in it anymore. Mm. Like sometimes, you know, I look at people's plates or I look at people's carts and I'm like, Jesus Christ, they got no nutrients in that entire. Mm -hmm. They're going to spend $100. Yeah. And there's no fucking nutrients in there. That's why they're mm -hmm. saying that a lot of Americans are fat, but they're malnourished. Well, because mm -hmm. we're, we're addicted there's no to the nutrients. sugar. Yeah, right. We're addicted to the sugar. And we're addicted to the carbs. Way. Right. And so like when from my understanding is from when you start craving those sweets and those type mm -hmm. of things, you go directly back for them. It's mm -hmm. like, mm -hmm. yep. okay. Yeah. Yeah, it's an yeah. addiction. Yeah, and they an discover addiction. that and they know ex the exact right combination and they do it that right. with food after food after food. Everything right. that you eat that comes in a package has been scientifically designed to make sure that you eat the entire fucking package and not just one or two. Right. Mm. You know, I used to blame myself thinking, oh, I have a binge problem. Mm. But now I'm like, oh, no, I don't have a binge problem. These fuckers are purposely mm -hmm. making it to where I can't stop eating. Right. But that doesn't explain the whole real peanut butter where I just keep eating it. And there's no. Oh, I love peanut butter. Like, like natural peanut too. butter. Uh -huh. Even with no, you know, there's no salt. There's no yeah. sugar in it. I just, you know, grind that. I still eat the whole fucking <laughs> Yeah, I, can't I, stop I with like peanut peanut, I love peanut butter. I get oh, it. Peanut butter. I oh totally God. get it. Yeah, I told my yeah. sister. She's like, "Oh, you should get some peanut butter." I'm like, "Yeah, it's one of my binge foods. I can't, eat, I can't have it in the house because I'll sit there with just you know with a spoon uh -huh. and just eat peanut butter at eight o'clock at night. You don't want to eat peanut butter at eight o'clock at night. That's a lot of fat, you know. And yeah, it just goes straight to your stomach because you're not burning it off. Okay, speaking about eating at night, do you snack at night? Mm -hmm. I, I do. Okay, That's so the that, worst it's a thing. male thing. Mm -hmm. So, like, I've noticed growing up, like, my dad did it, my brother did it, like, my close male friends do it, mm -hmm. my husband does it, my brother does it. Like, every male that I know mm -hmm. eats at night. It's almost mm -hmm. like they can't do it. Like, so, I came home, I guess it was, like, around 3 o'clock in the morning, and my husband opens the door. The first thing he does is open the door, and then goes straight to the kitchen. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, what are you doing? He was yeah. like, 
I don't just want peanut butter. Yeah. yeah. And I was like, <laughs> okay. And he puts it like on a piece of bread. He's like, Arr. but like, I've noticed that that's a male thing. Most females I know don't eat at night, mm -hmm. but it's a male thing. And I don't know if it's a psychological thing. I, mm -hmm. I don't know. I, I can, really can't fun. figure it out. I think stress release where too. and and because I can go out, I can eat, I you know we're out having a ball, do all this. I go home, I'm not even hungry, but as soon mm -hmm. as I walk in the house, mm -hmm. it's like, let me just munch on this, munch, do a yeah, little munch sometimes here. Sometimes I feel like that. I feel like I have to eat something before going to bed in order to relax, mm -hmm. like to just calm down and think like, oh, I'm yeah, kind of, kind of all the all the yeah. brain activity goes yeah. down to the stomach, yeah. so I can right. shut down and go to sleep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Right. And sometimes I have to stop myself because I'm like, okay, you know, it's 11 o'clock at night. I just came from eating. Mm -hmm. Yeah, don't yeah that's what I more. mean. Yeah. yeah. But it's just like a psychological thing or a mm -hmm. stress thing. Yeah, I was going to say maybe it's a comfort thing. Yeah. Well, it's, it's nice to know it's not just me. That's no, good to I've know. I've just noticed that <laughs> men tend to do it. Like, uh -huh. And it was funny because I um, started to think about my children. And it's like I have two girls and a boy. My son will eat all day long. Mm -hmm. Like at four o'clock in the morning, I'm like, "Do I smell eggs?" Yeah, <laughs> like, and he's in there. He just like, got hungry in the things. middle of the like, night. I'm hungry. <laughs> and like him and my husband will be in there like eating, and we're like, "Dude, what are you doing?" It's like, but it's it's I swear it's a male thing. Okay, yeah, it well, must you know be. What, you know that what's makes sense. About okay, so testosterone. So when you watch all those old shows, testosterone naturally builds muscle in a man's body, right? Okay. You watch all those old shows. A lot of those guys, you can see that they've got muscles, but they're not like, right? And that's all just grown from testosterone. Mm -hmm. And so I guess that takes a lot of food. Like you have to eat a lot right, mm -hmm. for the testosterone to grow those muscles and to convert it into protein and whatever. And what's funny is they keep eating that way and then eventually the testosterone's not right. burning all those calories anymore and now you're getting fat. Right. But for the longest time, until you're about age 30, a man, the testosterone will just grow your muscles without you do, even doing anything, yeah. which really pisses me off because we women are like, yeah. trying to get those muscles. And you can like work out right. forever and you still are not going to get those muscles that the men are getting unless you right. start mm -hmm. doing some of those steroids and shit, mm -hmm. you know? Oh, yeah. and so all those really super powered girls, I'm like, you're on steroids. But from that what shit I understand, didn't come natural. from what I understand, like when a woman gets stressed out, it's it would be more common for her to reach for like chocolate when Some a man usually, when a yeah. man gets stressed out he'll go have a steak dinner mm -hmm. uh, very mm -hmm. interesting yeah i can i can see that yeah and i think a lot of men prefer salt too yeah as opposed to sweet like yeah. i think more women prefer sweet and more men prefer salt too mm -hmm. mm. Well, it's just I think physiologically how how chocolate affects the female. The brain. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, it does make yeah, you feel true. better. Yeah, it sure mm -hmm. does. And the Conscious sugar savage beast that comes from it. Yeah, save mm -hmm. a life or two. You never know. <laughs> <laughs> My husband will be like, "Are you okay?" He'll throw his chocolate at me before he comes in the door. <laughs> Are you all right? I might be now, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's why you Give bring me two chocolate minutes. when you piss a woman off. You're like, hey, here's some chocolate. Why don't you eat a few things yeah. and we'll discuss it? <laughs> I know, right? Yeah. That's yeah. great. You know, and it, it's funny because I, like, now that I know my better because I'm an older woman and I know my my body better, my the cues in my body, mm -hmm. like, I do notice, like, around, like, the cycle time, I do crave chocolate. Mm-hmm. I've always, Usually yeah. around the cycle time, I want uh, carbs, like a bunch of carbs. I just okay. needed energy, some sort of weird sugar energy. Okay. More mm -hmm. than protein or anything like that. I wanted okay. carbs. Got it. You know, just tons of carbs. Gotcha. Try to. I'm still. I'm. I'm still one of those. Pro I like muffins. And yeah. Mm -hmm. That's my thing. It's, that's your jam. I, yeah, I still have a problem with that, and I think it's because you know. Bake products seem love because that's what your mom mm -hmm. would bake for you because you, you okay. know you bake yeah, and your mom is almost baking. a comfort food. Right, I can see that. So yeah. anything that's baked, I feel like that's mom's love. Mm -hmm. And so you know muffins oh. and pies and cakes and yeah. donuts mm -hmm. and stuff like that. Roll up pancakes. pancakes. Oh, except I'm telling you, between yeah. my roommate and I this year, we have had so many cookies and pies and cakes and stuff that I'm yeah. just. I, I don't, yeah, I mean, it's all been wonderful and good, but I, yeah, it's been a lot of sugar these past few mm -hmm. weeks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm I tell you, man, totally the, one, off the, sugar the too. one good thing about becoming a vegan is that it really keeps you from 
binging on all the food that you normally would have binged mm -hmm. on. Because I would have, there's been times where I'm walking down the street and I'm like, oh, I just want to like devour an entire muffin. I'm like, oh, mm -hmm. I can't. It's all made with eggs uh -huh. and milk and shit, you know? And so I can't. And so I just have to ride with that feeling. Right, you know, right. No, but home. that's yeah. good discipline. Yeah. That's very good it's discipline. It's terrible, though, because the whole time you're like, oh, I want to fucking eat that. Yeah, I nothing. would, I would yeah. probably, like, break someone's arm or something. Mm -hmm. I'm, yeah, over Cause nothing. Because sometimes, I guess, yeah, <laughs> I, my cause I do get Same like, here. Oh, when I get hangry? Oh, mm. it's not pretty. Oh, hangry is a different kind of anger. Yeah, I'm so surprised. But I, yeah, cause, angry is something completely Because after, Ooh. I usually have to eat a little bit before I go on stage. Okay. Yeah. But I always expend so much energy on stage that I have to eat afterward. I've got to right. eat something within like an hour or two after or you sure, suffer. Like, you right. will, you anybody yeah. around yeah. me will suffer. Right. <laughs> I hear you. I hear you. I get it. Yeah, there's been times on the subway where I'm just so mad. I just want to push people down the Same steps. Same here. Oh, my God. Yeah, there's that. And I, this is really awful, but I'm like, must you walk so Oh, slow. oh, 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 oh. <laughs> like, get to the side. There's get to right, the side. Exactly. physically wrong with you. Yeah. <laughs> why are you walking so slow? <laughs> That's why, you know, I'm really glad that I don't have one of those tasers. Because I think if I, yes? if I had a handy dandy taser and I was walking through the subway, I'd be like, a handy dandy taser. <laughs> <laughs> a handy dandy life. taser. Yeah. Nice little handy dandy taser. <laughs> <laughs> I just keep walking. <laughs> you know, not the one that goes like this and it has the like, yeah, the, it's just a little, yeah, it's all attached and you just touch somebody. Yeah, <laughs> just Thanks. a little, yeah, just a little bit. Get out of my oh, like a cattle prod. Just get yeah. out of my way. Oh. <laughs> yeah, she's getting a prod. Got a Rockefeller Center right now with all the yes, tourists. yes. <laughs> Clear a path. Out and of my way. Keep walking like it wasn't you. Yeah. You have the whole skating ring to yourself. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. For all your geriatric asses to go skating. <laughs> <laughs> or you go like zap and you go. I should play with behind you. <laughs> She's really yeah. thinking about it too. Oh, I know. I could be a dangerous person. I really could. All be. right. What's the worst holiday gift you've ever received? God. Worst holiday think. gift I yes. ever received? Can't well, see, for so it. many years, I never really got that many holiday gifts because <laughs> I'm single, I'm alone, I don't have family out oh, here. You, you know what my, I mean? Did you get mine yet in the mail? Get yours? No. Okay. It's coming. <laughs> <laughs> did you get mine yet? No. It's coming. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> I guess the worst <laughs> would be... Um, so my one sister, she's very black and white type of... Um, style and everything mm -hmm. okay and she would give me a gift card i think it was a kohl's like the one store that i would never shop in because it's <laughs> yeah. all black and white and like business attire yeah and i'm like does she know me yeah <laughs> and i'm like you know yeah. next time when you get me a card get up at tj maxx i don't shop the hell out of tj maxx <laughs> but this business attire black and white store yeah there's nothing in there i want not even yeah. socks <laughs> The worst gifts I ever got was my rabbit died, and my boyfriend bought me a rabbit coat. <gasps> oh, God. That's funny as hell. <laughs> yeah. So, like, he's like, eh, and I was like, oh. So, I thought you could pet him every time you. He was like, I thought Bubbles. you would love it. I was Bubbles. like, Muffin just Muffin. fucking died. He was like, but it's not the same color. I was like, but it feels the same. <laughs> I was like, it feels like the same fucking animal. Are you kidding me? 